three WrestleManias. Three. Count three, them three. Uh, the, the, maybe three and a half because one's a two day. Uh, but <laughs> I don't know. So officially, they're going to give it a try again and go back to Tampa Bay for WrestleMania this year. So hopefully, like, who who needed to jump off a pirate ship? Was that Kevin Owens? Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. The only Absolutely. thing missing is Kyrie Sane in the pirate uh-huh. ship. So maybe maybe she'll come back for the Rumble. Mm, maybe maybe. Uh, Sorg, I have an update on this. Hmm. Kevin Owens over the weekend just simply tweeted a picture of the pirate ship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just simply, he did that. That's you, all. You gotta, like, be, you gotta give credit. Like him jumping off the WrestleMania sign that wasn't a cinematic oh match my. was like one of the highest moments of last year's. I'm going to put in quotations WrestleMania. I'm going to say it was one of the highest moments of last year. In <laughs> it was. No, I'm serious. That was wild. Because it takes two people to point to the sign. But to jump off that motherfucker, <laughs> that's your guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's your guy. Yeah, yeah. No, Everyone has pointed to the sign. Only one person has jumped off it. Yeah. I kind of wish he was pointing at it while he was jumping. Just for the fun of him, just like well, he did way down he did for it. Swanton, so like when he flipped upside down, his arms were pointing at it. Not wrong. <laughs> genius. No. That's all it is. He's a genius <laughs> wrestling genius. And yeah, yeah, that's why Kevin Owens is amazing. Um yep. so we have that. It's gonna be another two day. Um, no official word as of yet, I don't think, about fans in the stadium, but I imagine they're gonna try something doing I, it here. Well, I assume based on what the NFL has done, they're definitely going to have fans. Yeah. Um, I don't know how many. Uh, to me, any is too many. Mm-hmm. But There were 16,000 at the Brown Stadium. I am shocked considering how shut down Ohio has been. You still can't yeah. do, I don't think, pro wrestling there. And we put 16,000 people in the Brown Stadium uh, yeah. for, for last week's game. Uh, you know, it, it, We've had none here in Pittsburgh for Steelers games. Um. Well, the, the, you know, just uh, close friends and family. I think they had right. Uh. But yeah. but that that's it. So, but Florida, of course, obviously is a whole whole different. I'd be okay thing. with that if they did that. Like, friends and family, like of the staff at the performance center and stuff like that. That's still, but that still seems so that that seems so tiny compared to, you know, you have the whole stadium, and that's where that's where I it, I can't imagine like they have to do something. Where maybe they'll let in like five thousand fans spread out, oh, and then the more. rest is Thunderdome. It's gonna be more than that. Yeah, I, yeah, oh, yeah, it's gonna be more. I, than that. I, like I wouldn't be surprised if you see like a virtual Thunderdome in the upper bowls of the stadium. Hey, oh, I, I think that's for sure happening just to fill the space, right? Um, just to make. It says there are usually like fourteen k at Raymond James for the Bucks games. Fourteen k, so. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, but think about it. You'll be able. To, technically, they'll probably be able to allow more people in there because I think the football state, like the the green uh, field, excuse yeah. me, yeah, the field takes up more room than you would need for WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't know. You spread them out. What? You do something. So because I mean, you know, versus in in, in comparison, I think there were. Uh, hopefully somebody can give me the number of what, what they did at Tokyo Dome because they had limited. So I think they limited to five. Yeah, but 000. Tokyo Dome is way different than what we're. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, but it's my only comparison yeah. point is what I'm saying. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. For how a wrestling show can look in COVID area era with a lower number of fans. Now, granted, it's in a dome and, and the dark corners and the bleachers are going to be like kind of blacked out. And you only notice them like very faintly in the background in some of the shots during Wrestle Kingdom. Um, but like, obviously they want to have fans in, I mean, we're seeing, you know, mixes of that between the NXT setup and what, you know, obviously the, uh, uh, AEW is doing at Jacksonville. Unfortunately, we won't be able to see what that's going to look like in Miami. Cause that is not happening uh, now. Yeah. So I was going to say, I oh, listened, yeah. I listened to just for wrestling news this morning. <laughs> so Wrestle Kingdom, uh, this year was. Twelve thousand on night one, seven thousand or about eight thousand on night two, so okay. twenty thousand total. Okay. Uh, Tampa Bay, I think with the football field, they could probably let in about five thousand ish plus more fans than what they have. Okay. With capacity, and it's also Florida. 
So they're going to try to go as much as they can. Yeah. Sadly, sadly, I think you're going to yeah, get sadly, but... both days. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. Was that Mike? You, you had some cross talk. I think. I think sadly you're going to get at least twenty thousand both days. Yeah. 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 I, and there's it, well, it'll be an interesting test, won't it, to see how many people will go all out for this. Are there enough people that are still kind of iffy, or is there enough I, people that would just go all out and do the whole WrestleMania thing that are not iffy? Um, I, I I think. I think the way they do tickets, mm-hmm. there has to be some kind of responsible way of doing it. Uh, by comparison, I, I, but I, I feel to... like you should only allow residents of Florida. Hey, well, here's here's another thing. Um, on uh, for comparison purposes, and something that I, I, you know, they did in Japan that I don't think anybody could do without backlash here in the states. Um, if you bought your ticket at Wrestle Kingdom, you had to. Um, there was a code under your seat or on your seat for you to scan. You had to download an app and become part of the contact tracing system. Oh, that'd be lovely. We would never do that here. No, we would never do that here. Unfortunately, we would never do that. Here. I think, but it's. I think it's a. It's a great idea. Oh, you know, that's, if you're that's do an it. amazing idea. That's that's actually one of that's one of the best ideas I've ever heard. <laughs> oh yeah, that was great. I mean, they had that. They had a, so that they couldn't cheer mm-hmm. the entire time. Yeah, they had to be quiet and use the boomsticks and stuff. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like like Mike said, that's never going to happen here. It's never going to happen. Here. No, no. But it's a, it'll be an interesting test to see what the, their allowed capacity is versus, because that's one of the big conversations, even with indie wrestling. And Jordan, you, you've probably been a part of those conversations too, right? Where it's like, you know, we could have shows, but how many are enough people even going to sh- feel comfortable to show up if we did? True, yeah. If we're yeah, that, that was the case with a lot of uh, different places. I know, I believe IWC had some shows mm-hmm. out of the Wild Things Stadium that they did last year too. Me personally, even if there was shows, I was not going to wrestle on them. Yeah. Um, just for, Which like is- with my with my business, I am technically an essential worker being in the news business. So I have to go to work in order to, you know, to make a living basically. Yeah. So I can't put my health in jeopardy with that. And I'm not going to wrestle until I get the vaccine to begin with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just think, I think it gives the wrong message, you know, especially if you're in the middle of a pandemic to be trying to uh, coax people into a situation that could be detrimental to their health. Yeah. That's okay. the case, and this is personal choice that, you know, to each their own. Right. Um, absolutely the, yeah personal choice yeah you know, do what you gotta do you know just be safe about you it you don't know everybody's situation you know obviously you, you get put down for two weeks that's a problem for you i get put down for two weeks that's a problem for me too because I'm, I'm the sole you know proprietor you know so it's like mm-hmm. i literally can't work <laughs> so I, and I, exactly. also wonder, I also wonder if we're gonna have new restrictions once um uh, well, well, let's, just say, let's just say after thursday yeah, I, I know. I, not to get political, but this is something that apply, affects wrestling. Is what's yeah, going to happen I mean, after because, after Wednesday? You know, the whole country could go on lockdown after this. Yeah, well, I, I, and, I think, and I think that is a strong. I think that is a strong thing to say that like an entirety lockdown thing. But I think there's going to be a new uh, method and how that is going to affect things like our WrestleManias and our well, Super Bowls. I'm more Super Bowl. What's that? I'm thinking the Super Bowl. I don't yeah. think there's going to be fans allowed at the Super Bowl. Supposedly, there's uh, already tickets being sold from I, uh, what I was told, I believe, on uh, yeah, the wrestling would, yeah. news. Yeah, I they have to refund all those tickets. Yeah, yeah, which obviously I, is, is an It wouldn't option. shock me. wouldn't no. shock me in the least. So what does that do there? Obviously, you know, hard hit is a lot of the independent professional wrestling, especially here in Pennsylvania, uh, uh, that, you know, as we just spoke about. Uh, so it, it's it's it, it's... This is this is a developing story. It's still a developing story, and there's another shift in the story. And, you know, and Tina, yeah. um, Tina's asking. <clears throat> the chat, sorry, Alex. Uh, Tina's just asking in the chat room uh, if the Indies would follow suit with shows for Mania weekend and with access. I, good questions. Good questions. Yeah. I mean, ideally, oh, yeah. we, ideally, I those tickets would be half sold by now. To be honest. What's that, uh, I Jordan? Think, I think some of the Indies would still have shows. Um, yeah. I know, like at least recently, Big Gay or um, Effie's having his big show. Mm-hmm. Uh, coming up, I think in a week or so. Oh, really? And I think, yeah, I think he's still having the big game wrench. I'm not sure. Uh, I'd have to check again, but I, I think they'd still be doing a lot of shows down in Tampa. Okay. For WrestleMania season. Uh, Alex, you were about to say. Yeah. Um. The the, the main uh on the on the topic of the indie shows, I I think yeah I think they're almost 100 percent going to do something. Uh, because we saw uh the collective. The, the group involved with like GCW and all of them, yeah. uh, when they weren't able to do their shows at um, WrestleMania weekend, they just recently finally did the collective, I think in Indianapolis or in that general area in October. 
So I think they might try to do some limited capacity version of that mm-hmm. for Mania Weekend, just so that they can say that they finally got to do some kind of Mania Weekend shows. Um, the other thing I wanted to bring up to kind of go touch on the seeding situation for Mania, uh, I'm trying to remember, did Wrestle Kingdom have like floor seeding? Because I feel yes. like there was not like... Because I feel like that would probably be the biggest concern with like how they arrange seating, assuming uh, they don't try to just do well what they would normally do. It's a, it's like a, I, it's, just, it's a little bit of everything, isn't it? Because even if you're up in the bleachers, you got somebody potentially right behind you breathing in your direction, right? Right. So I hate right, right, right. To say it. Like I think they kind of have a kind of have a model for how they should do floor seating. Hmm. Um, if you look at the and I don't like bringing this up, but the Saudi shows. Hmm. Like the Saudi shows, the floor seating, it's very spaced out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's actually a good point. Yeah, yeah, like actually, you're right. I think if anything, actually, the way you the, when you bring that up, I think that would actually be mm-hmm. more the way to go is to focus on spread out floor seating um, and then limited like bleacher seating. I don't know. So here's a little peek at, at Wrestle Kingdom. Please don't text me down, New Japan. Uh, on YouTube, um, but the, so you see, but you can see the fans out there. You can see, yeah. you know, I mean, it, it, they don't look spaced out from this angle, but when they would do shots out there, there definitely are. Um, oh yeah, so, yeah, they're not, they're not any like they're yeah. nowhere near the commentary table, no. for example. Like and, they're, I see that. Now. Yeah, they're they're definitely like, and, the, and that's just like the front row of the seats. And this is right before the like uh, Japan recently went into a social. Uh, I'm sorry, a um, state of emergency that week. I believe they officially announced maybe the day or two after Wrestle Kingdom itself. Um, they sold a New Year's Dash on like that Wednesday, I think, without a, like, they were already on restrictions. Like I think they already halted ticket sales, things like that. But they're still currently doing the um, the uh, what do they call it? the New Beginning tour, um, the Road to New Beginning tour, and that has been. I mean, they're they're kind of smaller venue kind of shows, and you can see they're very spaced out in the in the bleachers and stuff. This is, I believe, this morning show that we're looking at here, probably during the cleaning mm-hmm. time. Um, okay yeah i mean there's there's i mean it looks like uh, this looks like you know not as many people but space out wise like what i expected when we did uh pro wrestling conquest down in uh, charleston west virginia back in november um you know people are spaced out you know and 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 it's not a huge place but you know but there's there's been reservations uh, uh, i mean honestly you know that that terrifies me yeah oh yeah i'm not saying um like i'm okay with football for the most part because it's open air oh yeah oh yeah like like but something enclosed like that like even the tokyo dumb tokyo dumb stuff that terrifies well, me. well consider that i imagine something like the contact tracing is even happening at these shows um i, I also remember that this is a culture that i was already um um better like a better way of saying it down with the mask wearing before all of this so you know there's better yeah. compliance there there's better hygiene uh considerations um, listen, man, I remember the NXT show the month before every, the, the, the month, everything <laughs> locked down and it was, inter- it was, uh, it was before the show after the show, but there was a guy in there just like, while we were all just like going through the motions, going to the bathroom, washing our hands, eating the background going, it's here, man. You guys got to wash your hands. It's all around us. It's coming, man. Like he was like an end of world, you know, the end is nigh guy about the virus. In the bathroom I mean, at full sale, it was weird. Was he wrong? He was right. He was right. I'm like that. So, crazy, that crazy hey. dude in the in the bathroom was right about everything. Wow. Yes, yeah, Sork still has the distinction of being at the last live NXT at full sale. I was on. Oh the, boy. I was oh. on the like edge of the world, like wondering, like, man, am I going to be able to get home okay before this thing falls apart? Thankfully, it lasted another week. But and I mean, I'm like freaking Ground Zero at Florida, you know. Hey. So I want to point something out. Uh, our friend Dave Podner pointed out in chat, some somewhat dinner theater like. And you know what? I'm gonna say it. Uh, for for you indie wrestling promotions out there that are looking to do a show Mania weekend, get yourself a dinner theater set up. No, 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 no. Explain. Wait, 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 all right. Um, and keep in mind, I'm trying to figure out how to work this with, with you know, the limited capacity that we could allow, given everything going on. Uh, the, the, you, have a, you have a few tables set up at, you know, socially distant from ringside. You allow, like, maybe a family, like, families of four at most or something to a certain extent. 
you know, and I'm just trying to use general numbers here. And you you provide a meal and a show, you know. That that's the real basic breakdown. Okay. Oh, like medieval times but with wrestling. Yeah. There you go. So uh, here's the, so here's the issue with the uh the dinner theater uh, style that you would do that is because with most restaurants that are going on now is whenever you have food and or drink, you're allowed to take off your mask. Unless you space people out at least, you know, five to 20 yards away from each other. Yeah. All that contact stuff is still going to be a thing, even if it's open air. Yeah. Shoot. Uh, you're right. We'll have to do that in like years. three years. So, time. You have too. so the yeah, answer, never mind. we'll do that in again. three years time. We'll do that when we, when we bring WrestleMania to Hollywood. Yeah. There, there you we go. go. There also, you go. Think about, think about the, uh, the fan mentality as well. They're going to see their friends that they haven't seen in like the past, you know, mm-hmm. six months. They're going to go to that table. They're going to see another paper. They're going to go to that table and that table and that table. So unless you start blocking them off with like, I think, um, what was that? Kelly, Kelly O's diner down on the uh, strip has like igloos for each table that yeah. they do. Yeah. Unless you do it that way, then sure. But I don't think dinner theater is going to work for that either. Outdoor dinner yeah, theater. Even Got the it. igloos, even the igloos aren't good. Like, and that's another thing. Like the ticket sales, like there's no way you're going to be able to prevent like third party retailers. No. No, there's no, no way no. you're gonna yeah, be. Uh, look what AEW, uh, AEW uh, had the problem with yeah. the clusters. Yeah, yeah, like AEW does it because they're doing Daly's place, and Tony Khan owns that. Uh, yeah. yeah, Tony Khan owns that stadium, so he can do whatever he wants, and like they're able to control that. But there ain't no way you're gonna be able to like sit people in groups at WrestleMania. I think also too with uh, AEW, I think you have to have proof of a uh, testing. I think too, like a COVID test mm-hmm. a week. I think oh, you have to. Okay. So I think that's the other way they get around that as well. That's good. Um, that's good. Uh, there, there's no way that's going to happen for WrestleMania. No. Oh, no. no, absolutely not. No. Um. So yeah, at that at that capacity, it would probably be an issue. Um. It'll be interesting to see how this works out. Uh, of course, we're in early days of this. We're purely speculating on a lot of stuff right now. Um. You know, from tomorrow on, I think we'll even have a better idea after next week's show. So uh, to be honest, <laughs> like let's just let's just breathe and see how things go for a couple of days here. Let's go so um it's everything get to the age of Ultron. Everything is speculative until things are signs and the uh, eyes are dotted and things are uh, happening or not happening. Um but uh said I would want to bring my e reader and she's exactly right. What's that? <laughs> Jen Carlin said I would want to bring my e reader. To WrestleMania? She's a- yeah, she's exactly right. Oh, <laughs> you're talking about your your <laughs> issue with the smoother out of curiosity. Oh, <laughs> so, do, we have, do we have to tell the story again? Yes, Jordan. Yeah, well, I would love to see like like Mike's top pick for e reading at WrestleMania. No, 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 no. There's a, so so okay. Uh, fast forward about about two minutes if you've heard this story a hundred times. But yeah. Jordan's uh, going to get it now. All right, so Jordan, um, um, myself and two of our friends of the show, the Carlinses, went to WrestleMania 34. Uh, the last one that was in New Orleans. Okay. And I had my iPad Mini with me, uh, just because you know I, I would I would walk around before going to the shows and stuff and listen to the podcast and occasionally like take pictures with it and stuff. Um, I brought it to every show, every single show. Uh, we went to Takeover. We went to um, uh, Lucha versus TNA. We went to WrestleMania. We went to Raw. Brought it to every single show. It was in my bag the whole time. We get to SmackDown, the last day of the, the last show of the week, basically. And I get stopped at the front gate saying, I can't go in because I have a tablet on me. <laughs> okay. I, I get stopped. I get stopped at the Smoother. Matt Carlin's is playing at. It's, a, it's at the Smoothie King Center, but they call it the Smoother. Uh, or the Blenda, as we found out. Um, but And I get into a heated argument. I'm like, listen, I brought this everywhere. I brought it to Mercedes Benz yesterday. Like, I, I brought it to every single event that I've gone to. And they're like, nope, sorry, can't let you in. You got to bring that back to your car. I'm like, I walked here. We're at a hotel like two miles away. He's like, well, you got to bring it back. I'm like, all right, fine. So I took my ticket and I walked away. I walked up to a different entrance <laughs> and they they again stopped me for the tablet. And I said, oh, no, it's not a tablet. It's an e-reader. And they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I walked right in 
And as I was walking into the building, I see Matt and Jen Carlins coming up the escalator at the same time. So I just started screaming Ember Moon's theme song. <laughs> so was this just the Capitol Police that was doing security there or what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it was because no one had an issue with it before, but it was just like, I'm like, all right, fine. I'm from New York. I'll get around this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't stop Mike from his wrestling, no matter no, what. Absolutely not. No. And like the best, thing, like I just burst in, Ember starts the fire. <laughs> just I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. That's that's impressive. Yo, you get <laughs> Michael talk his way into anything you want to get into. Anyways, mm-hmm. hey, so uh, I, I want to a uh, uh, great conversation, uh, but I want to move on. First of all, want to give a shout to. Uh, hey, uh, you, you might be two WrestleManias. What's that? <laughs> so you're gonna talk about the other two WrestleManias? Oh, we didn't even talk about the. Uh, they're happening. Yeah, they're like Dallas next Dallas, year, Hollywood. And, and then um, Hugh can't see me. Said WrestleMania goes Hollywood in two years. And Tina said WMS meetup then. And heck I, yeah, you will love to hear. I it. Well, hell yeah. well, chances are I'm probably gonna be working that weekend because they they moved the now my events are penciled in because who knows, right? But yeah, I'm supposed to be in Florida or California. Which was it? I was somehow. I somehow it's the same year that WrestleMania is again, and it's killing me. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> um, because they will always drop that date for that event, WrestleMania weekend. I swear. 